Um, thanks to our panelists and, and apologies to um, those who we have. This has been a uh, fantastic day. I said at the beginning that it was a combination of a of a celebration and a looking forwards, and we've had a lot to celebrate uh, because. Um, primarily, thanks to the team at STFC, uh, we've delivered a, uh, a working version of Daphne for the research and practitioner community. Um, but let me also express my thanks to other members of uh, the Daphne Governance Board, um, our expert advisors and scrutineers, uh, amongst whom was actually David Wallen, who we've heard from this afternoon, alongside um, several other uh, computer science experts. I, this morning, I didn't mention the um, champions um, who have been within the universities working with us to develop the research community and have done an extremely important job in that sense. Um, at STFC, I should uh, in particular mention Marion and Rossio who have worked incredibly hard to um, behind the scenes to, uh, to make uh, today's event so successful. And I should um, also, of course, thank uh, EPSRC, um, who uh, funded BAPNI and have now funded the um, two years of ROSE funding to take us forwards into the future, and UKRI. And today we've had some, some really fascinating and, and meaty content, as well as um, uh, celebrating that uh, achievement. And thanks to all of our speakers for um, uh, not only um, talking about the connections between these various pieces of work and the DAPI system, but really giving us some very substantial and stimulating uh, ideas to grapple with. And looking forwards, we've got a, a strong sense in particular from um, Brian's talk about where this is going, though it's also um, come up very much in the, the presentations this afternoon and the way in which actual practical projects like OpenClim and CGFI um, and others are using the Daphne system to deliver new science and to deliver impact. And uh, I think that one of the impressions I've got is that this this is incredibly timely. We heard um, both from uh, Otterline Laser and from Mark Gaskar about how um, digital twins and digital research infrastructure are really at the forefront of uh, UKRI's thinking at the moment. Um, as we know, uh, we've been working on Daphne for four and a half years. Um, in a sense, uh, when it was kicked off, um, as part of UCRIC, um, maybe it was ahead of its time, but we now have the opportunity that this system is up and running and, and working for it to deliver the goods for all of these um, research initiatives, which are so high on the agenda at the moment. And the other um, thing which I think is, is very timely is the interdisciplinarity of Daphne. Um, that it was um, born with EPSRC funding and with a focus on physical infrastructure systems. Um, it's been delivered by STFC as part of the UK's digital research infrastructure. Um, the two largest projects which are now running on Daphne are uh, funded by NERC um, and relate um, uh, to a large extent to climatic extremes, um, but also to questions of how as a nation and an economy, and particularly the finance sector, can respond to those um, climatic extremes. And of course, Daphne um, reaches into um, uh, the social sciences, into um, uh, big data, and we could and should have heard from colleagues in, in Leeds who've been using Daphne for um, population modelling and economic modelling, as well as the examples of health modelling as part of the COVID pandemic, um, which in Daphne um, colleagues um, uh, were able to step up and use the system very urgently to, to model and forecast um, to help manage the pandemic. Of course, today is just a step on the journey. Um, as we've heard already, and you will have more information 
there's an opportunity for more in-depth and hands-on um, training um, using Daphne um, in September. Who knows whether we'll be able to do that face-to-face. Um, -face. That would be a, a great thing to do to actually be able to gather around some computer screens and uh, interact in person on that. And um, in the meantime, uh, please keep in touch. Um, the hands-on event is on the 14th of September and uh, Rossio has just put the, uh, the link in the chat there for registrations. There'll be more information on the website. Um, Daphne will keep up um, movements on its social media, on, on Twitter and LinkedIn, and um, you will know how to put in further inquiries with the uh, inquiries email address of Daphne as well. So lots of ways of keeping in touch. Thank you very much indeed for, for joining us today. And we all look forward to further interaction.